Congratulations on the extension. Just uh, how happy were you to get that done? Know you're going to be here through 2027 and just kind of have that peace of mind. Uh, Yeah, I was definitely excited to know that uh, we were able to get that done. And, um, you know, just knowing that to be at a place where I know I feel like I'm wanted and, um, you know, I'm able to showcase what I can really do. I'm really uh, appreciative, um, and I'm so blessed that God has enabled me, enabled me to be in a position to where I could give him the glory for the things that he's granted me with. And, um, yeah, I'm just happy that I, I get to be here for the next couple of years. At what point did you realize that you wanted this to be your forever home? Uh, when I first signed my first contract here. Was that immediate? Yeah. Just the conversations you had with Brad and Dan, or I guess can you? Uh, yeah. Um, Coach Campbell was very adamant in it, expressing how much he wanted me here and how, how much he felt like he needed me here. So I feel like, you know, uh, Coach Campbell being who he was for me and to me when I first stepped here, it made me want to, you know, kind of go hard every opportunity that I got. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that I'm able to be here a lot longer. To, to that end, not just you, but the extensions with the, the other guys. You know, Jared's got an extension, uh, St. Brown, Panay's probably coming up. How does that – you said Panay's coming up. You must have missed a little bit of time, big dog. Can you walk? The fact that the guys, the nucleus is, you know, signed together. How does that strike you? Uh, I don't really understand your question. The fact that it's not just you with an extension, but supporting cast and you guys together having extensions. Yeah, I think it's big. You know, you keep a, a certain group of guys together. I'm um, the catalyst of this organization. And you know, being able to start something that you can kind of build around. You know, we got some, some great core dudes and those guys that we were able to get um, extended. And, you know, gratefully, I was able to get extended myself. So, um, you know, I just, I'm just happy to be a part of it. You guys just offensively scored 89 points the last two weeks. You guys are just really clicking. What is it about these last two weeks that have just kind of in place for you guys offensively? Yeah, I think it was a period um, in the beginning of the season where we kind of like trying to figure out our identity and trying to put all the pieces together. And I think now uh, we're starting to execute a lot more. And the funny thing is we're not even all on the same page, just, you know, small things here and there uh, that we can clean up and, you know, that we could, we could really, <laughs> sky's really the limit for us. So um, I'm excited to see what's next. Speaking about the identity of this team, they are a strong-minded group, but you see the injury of Aiden Hutchinson that went your thoughts on that? Why do you feel like this team is equipped to not obviously get past them easily like that, but just for other guys to step into that role of what he was able to do as well? Yeah, um, one thing that you learn in this league, you know, um, you know, it suck, but injuries is a part of the game. And, you know, you got guys who prepared uh, to go in. And, you know, Coach Campbell is sure to allow people to know that, look, you know, anything is liable to happen, and the next guy got to be ready. But, um, you know, my heart, my prayers go out to Aiden. Um, it's an unfortunate loss for us, a big, big, big blow for us. And um, it's just more personal for us now because the kind of guy that Aiden is, the kind of character that he has, and what he brings to the, to the locker room and to this team. So um, I know for me personally, I'm going to take it real personal for, for a guy like Aiden because, you know, he was a heartbeat of this team. And he still will be. Jared Goff said you're the, his favorite teammate he's ever had. I mean, he's been in the league nine years, yeah. you know, played with a lot of guys. Just yeah. maybe hearing that from, from your quarter, what does that mean to you? And why is that relationship maybe? Yeah, yeah. Good one? yeah, JG, that's my guy. You know, um, <laughs> we, we joke all the time um, about his speed and stuff, like how fast he really is and what he really ain't. But, um, you know, Jared's a, a great leader. And uh, he leads in a way where um, it's infectious to everybody around you. And, um, you know, you want to be a part of that. You want to be around a guy like that. So. Um, I'm just happy that he gave me that compliment. Dan, I know there's a, also said just a, a minute ago that you inspire him and, and that he wants you, you make him want to put the pads back on. <laughs> what what kind of what does that mean to you to hear that from your coach? Uh, I hope that uh, you talking about Coach Campbell. Yeah. Yeah, it'll never be possible. Uh, you know, but if I could get in some pads with Coach Campbell, it'd be kind of cool to see him in front of me. Earlier you mentioned uh, catalyst of the team. Uh, can you spell catalyst for us? <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, I didn't know this was a spelling bee. <laughs> um, but Craig Reynolds, uh, I'm just gonna try to focus on uh, something else other than uh, spelling stuff out. Yeah. David, I know there's a lot of division games left, but what does it say about the division? That every team's at least two games over 500 already. 
I don't know. Maybe we should ask Craig before you try to get up out of here. Craig, uh, you didn't you didn't hear the question? See, crazy, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's important for us to, you know, go back to the drawing board, realize who we got next. We got a big team, a hard challenge uh, next in the Vikings. That's a really good team over that way. But um, <laughs> I think uh, we'll be ready for the challenge. We'll prepare this week, go back to the drawing board and clean up the things that we didn't do so well today. But, um, yeah, it'll be a big challenge for us, and uh, we'll be ready for it. Maybe just start with, obviously, with, with Hutch. That's mm -hmm. obviously a tough one. Just what he means to you guys for the whole team to come out there and oh, how, how big of a loss is that, obviously? Yeah, I mean, I'd probably touch more on the, the human aspect of that. I think that, um, you know, it's obvious how good he is and how, you know, great of a player he is on the field and, you know, what he does for our team schematically and, um, you know, what type of season he was having. Um, but, yeah, just to see him you know, in that situation and, um, you know, it kind of just brings you back down to earth of, you know, we're playing a violent, dangerous sport and, um, you know, it just kind of is what it is and it happens. But, you know, to see him, you know, go out like that is, is tough, uh, just from the human aspect in that, you know what I mean, in that regard. Did you have a chance to talk to him at all? I mean, just as he was going off the, the stretcher and, you know, to see him obviously emotional and, you know, I was too. And, uh, you know, I empathize with him because, you know, I've been in those situations, not not like the, exactly that, but um, just the, in those situations before, as probably all know. How difficult has it been to, to kind of refocus on the game yeah. and get back in the sport? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, when you have a stoppage like that and, you know, a player like that and a leader like that and what, what he gives to our team, it's it's hard to refocus. But, um, you know, that's what he would want us to do, and that's, that's kind of what we did. Let's talk about the defensive performance overall, five takeaways. Mm -hmm. I mean, no touchdowns, yeah. just that was probably the best you guys have played in quite some time. Before. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that was definitely, we knew we knew going into this game it was going to be a statement game, and, um, you know, it's one, one of those defining games in your season, I think, you know, you could prove a point in, you know, a 325 Central, 425 Eastern game that a lot of people are watching in Dallas. I think it's, it was an opportunity for us to take advantage of. A lot of guys, sorry, just to be clear, knew ahead of time you all wanted to make a statement you yeah look, you were looking to make a statement yeah I think you know every game you're looking to make a statement but I think specifically this this game okay, so that was my question you know, yeah it was kind of downplayed throughout the week but you know when the, the lights came on is that something you were feeling like maybe just your heart a little bit just yeah I, 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 yeah I, I'd say so yeah anytime you play here it's a special place and um, you know it's to play against the Dallas Cowboys and you know it's it's an opportunity for us to come in here and uh, prove a point I mean, for this defense, yeah. two interceptions, a forced fumble today. Just kind yeah. of been doing it at safety ever since he moved there this year. Yeah, yeah, no, I think he's a ball player. He's a ball hawk. Um, you know, he he makes a lot of plays, and you know, it's fun to fun to be a part of and um, be on the field with him. Uh, but you know, it's not a surprise. I'm sure you guys aren't surprised by it. And um, you know, if he keeps it up, he's having an All-Pro season, in my opinion. So I'm excited for him and just keep growing as a safety and you know, keep getting better in in, in different situations and. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for him. Aleem was kind of wrecking the game a little bit. Just what did you see uh, in front of you on McNeil? Uh, no, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, if you talk to him, you'd probably say he, um, you know, wanted kind of like a statement game for him too. I think that, um, you know, the sacks kind of were coming his way early in the year. And um, going into this game, I, I think he had a feeling, and we had a feeling that, you know, he was going to be a, a difference maker. and. You know, get those stats up, and you know he. I, I'm not sure. I haven't watched the film on how they really came, but um, you know, every sack counts. So. Uh, I know he doesn't play on your side of the ball, but David Montgomery signed mm -hmm. an extension yesterday. Oh just, yeah. Just curious what he means this this team culturally and yeah. setting the tone. Yeah. You know, I think uh, he's a perfect culture fit. Um, you know, I think when we signed him last year, we knew you know exactly who he was and just playing against him, and then. You know, just thriving in our offense and how, you know, Ben and Dan and them use him. And, um, you know, he's just one of those players that, you know, it's kind of defines what we're about as a team and, um, you know, as an organization. So, um, you know, congrats to him. And it's, it's good to see, um, you know, guys like that get, get what they deserve. Yeah, it was sweet. Um, Jared threw a great ball. Everybody executed well. And it was, Nice to uh, get a touchdown to start off the year. 
What does it mean to get a win like this on the road against a good team in the NFC? Yeah, they're a great team. Um, they play specifically well at home, and you know it was a crazy environment today. But we came out. Everybody was executing on all cylinders. Ben was calling phenomenal plays. Um, he saw all the explosives. It was just outstanding day. Outside of that kneel down, you guys scored in the first nine possessions of this game. Just talk about that consistency and how tough that is to do in this league. Yeah, I think how we were comp complimenting the, the run in the pass today, as well as I mentioned with those ex explosive plays, it makes it a lot easier uh, when you're going on like five play drives, not those big 15, 20 play drives, you know, that take the length of the field. And uh, to that point as well, there was great field position from our defense today, special teams. So. It was just a great team win. Final thing from your side, just thoughts on the thorough nature of this win. All three phases were really quick. Totally, yeah. As I just mentioned, the field position came up huge today. The explosives, it just everybody was clicking today, and it was a great team win. Yep. Thanks. Touchdown. Just your thoughts on what you saw. Yeah, no, just uh, a lot of consistent play. I feel like everyone. Like we're not perfect every single play, but everyone for the most part was doing their job every single play, playing and play out and. I mean, when the, you get an opportunity like that, especially for uh, some young guys, um, and also for me, uh, just take advantage of it and just embrace it. And I would say it's just kind of been what a, uh, AG's been just speaking of, just a, a tough and relentless defense. Um, I'm seeing growth in everyone, and I'm just excited to continue to keep pushing it. Some. There was a point in the second half where they had turnovers on four consecutive possessions. Yeah. Just your thoughts on being able to take it away like that? Yeah, I mean, that, that's what the defense has got to do week in and week out. Uh, to put our offense in the best position to win because at the end of the day, it's all about winning. So. You feel like this shows growth from the yeah. defense and you guys moving forward? Yeah, no doubt. And uh, there's no steps back. We just need to keep keep improving little by little. Um, you're not going to change it overnight, obviously, but just a little bit better every single day, and that's the focus right now. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Assist NFL stat. Uh -huh. You know, it seems like every trick play you've got a, a hand in on it, and, you know, just – what does that mean to you that you're able to, to get Panay involved, to, to run the, the flea flicker, to run the hook and ladder with Jameer, you know? Yeah, how, how unique and, uh, I guess, cool is that element yeah. of your, your role in the offense? It's fun. It's awesome. Uh, you know, I still, I mean, the Panay one, I wish it wouldn't have got called back. Uh, I feel like that, was, that would have been the highlight of the game if, if it would have stood. But, um, no, nah, I think I love trick plays. I feel like, I tell everyone, I feel like they always work when you call them. Um, I think we're what we're three for three now on trick plays. Ah, I mean Panay's got called back, but I mean they they we're pretty good at it. So um, and to be you know part of it, um, it's it's a lot of fun. Ben was absolutely in his bag this week, was he not? Yeah, he was definitely. Uh, I guess how fun is it through the course of practice when you know all these things are, are in there, and if you guys get in the right situations, they they will be called. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know he's a uh, he's really good at what he does. Um, <laughs> He watches, you know, watches all the film. He's in there <clears throat> day and night studying tape, um, trying to get his guys in the right position, us to make the plays. And, I mean, it showed up today. Got everyone making plays throughout the whole offense. Um, and when, when things go like that, you kind of, that's when you put up 40 plus points. So if we can keep this, you know, to keep this energy going, um, we'll, be, we'll be just fine. We haven't seen many games where you guys really go for the jugular in the way that you guys did today. How much of that was attached to this game and, and this opponent? Uh, you know, I feel like every game we really, I mean, you want to put up as many points as you can every game. Um, that's the goal. But, you know, going into halftime, the message coming out was, you know, we've had some pretty good halves, you know, this year. Let's try to come out second half and really do the same thing we did in the first half. That was really the message in, at halftime. And that's what we did. We came out, had an explosive right away. I think Khalif had that, had that, uh, that big catch, mm -hmm. went down and, Ever since that, we just kept rolling, kept rolling, and I think you know that was a difference maker for us. Did that play to Panay have a name? Uh, yeah, it did. Uh, it was called Grenade Special. Yeah, yeah. special. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what's blown up the internet? On your yeah. first nine possessions today, just thoughts on that kind of consistency? Yeah, um, you know, I think we all we executed. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, some plays obviously you want to get the right play covers, the right coverage, and the right defense, but. If it's not the right coverage that we expected, we got to go and make the play, whether that's, you know, catching and knifing for five yards. Um, Jared, you know, going through all his read, checking it down to Jameer. So many things that went on throughout that game that, you know, as an offense, you wish you could just have every game. Because if you do it every game, you'll be pretty, you know, pretty successful. So, you know, when you have a game like that, it's, you know, credit to all the guys 
on the offense, the coaches, everyone. You're one of the leaders on this team. To see Aiden go down, yeah. just what does that mean? How do you want to see guys react? Yeah, it was it was tough Aiden to see. Um, you know, I didn't really know what happened until kind of we got closer to him, and you know, people started talking about it. But you know, I'm thinking about him. This whole team is thinking about him. For like the whole city of Detroit is thinking about him. Um, we wish him nothing but the you know the speediest recovery of recoveries for him. Um, you know, he's on a crazy pace this year. Um, you know, I feel like the pace that he was on, he was winning deep in the third of the year. I mean, he was on a on a roll that I have never seen it, you know, as an offensive player to see someone on defense do that. Um, so I know we're all thinking of him. He's gonna he's gonna come back even stronger. So um, yeah, it's terrible to see. Appreciate you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Game, I feel like we did what we needed to do today. Uh, we honed in on the details all week. Uh, coming off that bye, we were just making sure that we came in here really, really focused and ready to go. Um, but I mean, I don't feel like we did anything special. We just played our brand of football and we just kept going we, all the way to the end of the game. So I don't think it was anything special or anything. We just played our brand of football. You got a couple too. A couple more guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got something out there. Um, you know, that, that was cool. As long as we win the game, though, I'm good. But uh, that felt good to be able to do that, be able to have an impact on the game. You had a half in Seattle, right, as well? Yeah. So, I mean, can you feel yourself starting to kind of click? Yeah, 100%. Um, I'm starting to feel a lot, uh, not exactly comfortable. It's just things are starting to come to me a little bit differently, and I'm seeing them. Um, and I was able to see a lot in this game. So, And uh, shout out to Malcolm um, for that first set. He set me up on there but uh, by playing into that guard. And Hutch on the second one had bulled his tackle so bad, I bulled the guard and he tripped over the tackle. So, it, you know what I mean? It, it all works together. So, shout out to them for that as well. And I, I walked a little late. I, I recognize that it's completely out of control. You know, just how do you process that mentally as a human being? Uh, it was it was wild. I, I didn't know what to say or what yeah. to do, um, honestly. And what's crazy now, I feel like we kind of swapped because the same thing kind of happened to me last year when we collided and then we collided again. And, it was hush time, so I, I hate that for him. Uh, at that moment, I didn't know what to think. I was, I was kind of lost, and then we had to go back into the game. So I was like, I don't know. It was kind of blank, to be honest. I just hated that for him. It's got to be so hard to reset just on the Yeah, it, it was. That was crazy. I, I can't lie. I, I hated to see that for us. Everybody's been watching hush this year. You see what he's been doing. So I, I just, you know. But I don't, I don't know what it, exactly it was or what it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Appreciate you, Lee. Yeah, appreciate you, so we just nothing changes. We just gotta execute. Thank so when's an offensive lineman gonna score a touchdown in Dallas? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> really sad. Yeah. Um, how much conversation was it amongst you guys just in terms of what happened the last time and what might happen this time? Nothing really. We just all knew the taste that we had in our mouth coming off the field last year. So. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't want to talk about it. We just want to come out here and let our action show and uh, just execute. Um, losing Aiden, how do you process that, especially when it's in the flow of the game? Obviously, you guys are professional, but it is emotional as well. How did you deal with that? Um, I think guys just, you know I mean, just next play mentality. And uh, it's always tough to lose uh, Hutch and any player, you know, not just him. Like, any player goes down, it's tough to watch and see just because of all the hard work we put in each and every day. So, um, but we, at the end of the day, we know we have a job to do. And we, we have a game to win. What does he mean to this team just in terms of um, the leadership? The, and I know you play offense, he plays defense, but when you think about just the whole culture of this team and the leadership, how would you put it into words? I mean, I, I, to be honest, I don't think I have to put it into words. I think everybody else, everybody in, the world knows what he's capable of doing, what type of uh, energy, what type of uh, player he is. So, um, yeah, as simple as that. So did y'all know him? I was, I got goosebumps when I heard it. Um, and I'm, I went and found our contract guy and I was like, what's, what's the details? Um, Cause he deserves it. It was incredible. Uh, obviously there's a bittersweet nature to this victory. You go out and take care of business, but you, you lose Aiden to a pretty significant injury. Yeah. How do you, how do you process that as a, as a team leader? Uh, first of all, heartbreaking because he's also one of our team leaders and he's a guy that, you know, much like David, he's a tone setter. Um, 
And, you know, outside of the football aspect of it, you just have so much respect for the guy for how he goes about his business as, as a man and a, and a teammate because um, he gives everything he has to us. And you guys see it. You guys see the way he plays. Um, and I just know how much this means to him and being able to out, be out there and play with his teammates, I know how much that means to him. Um, so you're just gutted for him. And you just hope he's okay um, as Aiden, the, the person. Um, we know Aiden, the football player, will be just fine um, when, when we get him back. Um, but yeah, that's just, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. You basically scored on your first nine possessions in this game. Mm -hmm. Just thoughts on, on your consistency and being able to do that today. Yeah, I mean, I feel like all season we've kind of been building towards more um, more of a complete game um, as an offense. Uh, played pretty well against Seattle. Got a, got a bye week coming out of it. We had, you know, a couple extra days, so we were able to kind of have a lot of ammo coming in here. Um, and then I think the game was just called well, and I think it was executed well by everybody. So, um, yeah. I haven't seen many this thorough in your time here. This is something else. Offense, defense, special teams. Just thoughts on the entire team now. Yeah, I mean, I would say this is probably the most complete one I've ever been a part of. Um, and it's the first time I've got to beat Dallas. I haven't beat Dallas my whole career. Um, so, you know, that, that feels good. That feels good to do that. Um, and it's just a testament to, like, how, how tight-knit this group is and how you know, they're not going to be satisfied with, you know, oh, we, we won by three or four. Like, yeah, we're happy we won the games. But we know there's a lot more there. There's a lot more meat on the bone. Um, and we can play better. You know, we just played really complimentary. And, of course, there was mistakes out there, but guys were just playing hard. Um, and effort makes up for a lot of mistakes. We got to talk about preparation just, just now. And did, did anyone, do you guys think, of, was last year's game on your mind at all as players or, you know, against the Cowboys, last season's game? Did you guys have it, that on your mind when you were coming back here today, you know, to win? Or, or is that just something fans talk about? I think yes and no. Yes and no. I mean, I think, you know, we were, you know, we're, we're bitter about what happened last year. But then there's the whole thing where, the, you know, this is a new year. The teams are different, stuff like that. Um, but we wanted to come in here and make a statement. Um, and the, the staff did a really good job of preparing us for everything. And I think the guys came out ready. Sometimes coming off a of bye week, you can have a little bit of a lull. And uh, it was really good to see just everybody out there flying around, doing their assignments, um, playing hard. Um, so yeah, it was yeah. it was a special. Watching one. tape, you guys were out there to hold that team and keep them out of the end zone. That, that's a heck of a job. Oh uh, yeah, it was a good job, bro. We. Um, did a good job of just as a defense, just coming together and really playing hard. They presented some tough things for us. Sorry, I'm trying to get this towel. I'm sweating. But it was good. It was good effort today on all sides. Just what do you see coming together for this defense? Because that's a real throw effort against a very good offense. I think a bunch of guys just trusting each other. Um, I think that's really the thing. Man. Everybody just trusts each other, and every week just got to get better and better. Um, just keep growing. You know that rent's due every week, week to week, and we just go out there and do our thing. You've been in this league for a long time. You know what it's like to lose a player. Just thoughts uh -huh. on seeing Aiden go down and, and how this team reacts. Man, we just, we just hate it for him. You know, you, you just go put your arm around your brother. You know it's hard. He's off to a hell of a start, too. So I think that's the toughest thing. But you just go put your arms around your brother. And I know we got him. We're going to be there with him every step of the way. And I know he's a dog. He's going to go attack it and do what he's got to do. But, um, you know, our, our hearts and prayers are with him. And he'll be back with us soon. How difficult is it, or how professional is it to process that in the moment, oh. like when you the next play? Oh, play. it's tough, man. It's definitely tough, especially somebody who's been there before. I mean, not necessarily that injury, but you've been on your back with, you know, your your eyes up at that with that ceiling. You kind of get emotional because you know what that entails. You know that you don't know what lies ahead when that happens to you. So, um, you know, you you know you're in for a fight. You don't know what kind of fight you're in for. But it's tough. But I know as a team. It's been our whole lives. Like we've been watching their practice. People get injured in games. It happens. So it's one of those things you can click back in. I think there's time to be human during the game. So we understand how to be human and then process and get back to what we got to do. How hard is it going to be to replace not only his production, but you know everything else means to the defensive uh, line? I think you don't really just replace a player like that. You just hope guys step up. And I think we got the right guys in this room. Uh, you can't really replace him. You can't replace that energy, the person, just who he is. So. You try to step up, know that he's going to be around, be around the rooms, keep feeding us those positive vibes, and just go out there and play hard for our brother. Are you guys confident you can still be the defense you yeah. want to be even oh, without yeah, him? Yeah. I almost didn't even want to answer that damn question. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Not what we're worried about. Uh, we lose a player, somebody's got to step up. Um, our whole defense isn't predicated off just one guy. I think he would tell you that too. So I think that's 
we, we, we still want to be special and they're still in the plans.